to schools the Contextualized digital resources provides creative way by using moving images. academic performance. Furthermore, it focused to investigate digital learning skills, develop potential for deeper learning of the social sciences subject, 
of selected senior high students in Lalan National High School and Lanao Norte Comprehensive High School after exposing them to contextualized digital resources. Sampling Purposive sampling was used during the data gathering. Pilot testing of the research instrument used to obtain reliability for the test. Other factors students on topics in selected understanding culture, society, and politics. The topics are economic institution, non-state institution, and education. These teacher-made videos have been presented to the Samahan ng Tagapagtaghuyod ng Araling Panlipunan Department during the regular LAC session and further validated by the Araling Panlipunan Department Head Mr. Benjen Caballero, a master teacher one. And now, let us have the results and discussion. Problem number one, what is the level of students' academic performance between the two schools who were exposed to contextualized digital resources based on their pre-test and post-test results? As seen in table 1, there was an increase on in the level of students' academic performance between the two schools who were exposed to contextualized digital resources based on pre-test. The mean of Lala National High School is 20.29 and then the standard vision of 0 0.45 whereas LNHES mean is 18.35 and then the standard vision of 66. While the post-test results, LALA mean is 33.56, while the standard deviation of 0.51. On the other hand, L in NCHS, the mean is 35.05, while the standard deviation of 0.53 scores. This implies that there was an increase of the mean in each participating schools before and after the students who were exposed to contextualized digital resources. This study was supported by Humanist in 2020, concluded 
that the use of contextualized e-learning resources increases the academic performance of the learners. Thus, teachers should have the courage to continuously develop contextualized digital resources that will help every learner to master different learning competencies. The ability to apply concepts and from contextualized digital resources implies that the student's level of study habits is improved. Students are expected to get better achievement gains. Problem number two. Is there a significant difference between the two schools who are exposed to contextualized digital resources in their has shown that many students indicate that they like learning from contextualized learning videos, empowering them to learn flexibly and independently, leading them to conquest or to request online content in their courses. Because students enjoy and request access to video, it can be considered a positive instructional format that should provide confidence to librarians faculty members and other constituents that has an educational resource which is a bright
latest software application. That will be the end of our presentation of our completed action research entitled Improving Academic Performance of Selected Senior High School Students Through Contextualized Digital Resources. This has been Charmaine Marie Secretess, Jessica Amakna, Rosalie Saikon, leaving you the quote from Nelson Mandela, Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world.